Hey everybody, Ann here. Remember at the end of the last video I showed you some footage of this area where Judy goes that's covered in, well, poison ivy? I have got to take care of this today. Here is a shot of the back portion of it. I have been wanting to do this for so long. It is just so messy and Judy likes to get in there and roll around and I'm not going to have her having a skin condition again, so I got to get me my machete. Oh my goodness, this is so much better. I cut down that big tree that was growing over here cut down all these vines and whatnot, and I uh, cut little pieces of the vine that are in the tree because I think that's all poison ivy as well. So hopefully all that will die off. And I got all of this down. Remember, remember that stump? That stump is the one that I got those big veiled oyster mushrooms out of. So I can see it again, awesome. Yeah, I got this all cleared out. So now I won't feel so bad about Judy being back here. I just need to watch this area for mushrooms because they like to grow back in here. And if you can see there, over there, that's all the brush that I got up. Oh, and good thing I had gloves on because quite a bit of this is poison ivy. I have washed up, um, but I'm just gonna let this dry out a little bit. Oh, we also, Cody came over, my neighbor, nice kid. You'll get to meet him, like I said before. Uh, we got all of this stuff out and this right here all right let me get a stick and show you let me get a stick and show you let's see if you can even see this well I don't know if you can see it right yet yep here let's I'll get you down closer the ants have returned can you see all those ants in there they're gonna start coming out all over the place Yep, this has been reinfested with ants. So, a little bit later on, I'm going to disturb this nest up real nice and get some diatomaceous earth, sprinkle it all over it again, get rid of the ants again, and then in the future, just try and keep up on it so that I can actually use this to plant in because I really do think that the ants are causing problems. We got all the cucumbers pulled up, all the lettuce pulled up. There's no ants in this one, though. So I will be planting in these. Not this one though. I've got to kill all those ants again. I need to figure out what I'm going to put in that planter though. Well, that was the jalapeno pepper plant and something came overnight and basically ate all of the leaves. And look at that. Look at that big huge thing. It's already started tearing into one of the jalapeno peppers. Look at that. Look at it. It just totally ate it. So you know what I'm going to do? This thing's going to become chicken food. Oh yeah. Look at that though. It's got a horn and everything. I think I've seen those on tomato plants before. Well, let's go see how the chickens like it. Okay, little worm. Let's get you down in here. Mm, let's just throw it right here. Let's see what they do. I don't know if I can see this. Does one of them get it? Are they coming for it? Nope, not yet. I just need to be quiet. Here we go. Sorry I missed it. Yeah, they're going to chase each other around now. Look at that. Yep. Oh, yeah. There's enough for all of them to share. They went out of sight. In the corner now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Who's going to get it? <laughs> yep. It's my entertainment. Oh, yeah. Oh, somebody else got it. Oh. I don't even know if you guys can see this. So cute. Look at the beautiful Miss Judy. Just sitting there eating grass. She'll be puking in a little while. I think she likes it better over here. It's shady more of the day. And the places she has to lay down, she's got her bed. And she's got all, oh, I got to get rid of that tarp. She's got all this grass. 
So let me go find my diatomaceous earth. I just put some on the ant hill, which is supposed to be a uh, <laughs> garden bed, and uh, see if I can just sprinkle these plants and make it so they don't the the caterpillars don't eat any more of my leaves. I actually think this plant might be toast. Let me just make sure there's not any others on it. Man, it, it just the plant looked fine a day ago. That thing just basically decimated this. So I'm just gonna start dusting some of these plants and see if that helps at all. <sighs> Makes me so mad. Let me get some on this tomato. So maybe I'll get I don't I think it's too late for that one to start producing, but I'm gonna let it grow. Oops. I got diatomaceous earth all over my phone. Let's sprinkle this one. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if I'll get anything else out of this plant either, but well, I might as well sprinkle this one too. Oh goodness. I just can't believe it. I think I'm going to go to the garden beds down by the street and sprinkle some of that on them, but I'm going to collect some bugs for the chickens. Well, I've got these all over my tomato plants, so I'm going to pick off any that I can find and then uh, dust everything with diatomaceous earth. Well, there's a few squash bugs and a few caterpillars of some kind or another. Let's see if the chickens like them. There we go. That's better. Oh, they love those squash bugs. They sure do. Those are baby squash bugs. Let's see if they'll get the caterpillars. Yep, they went for the squash bugs first. They really like them. Oh, yep, 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 yep. There's another one for you. Go get it. They have to have the one that the other chicken has. There you go. Good job. Good job, guys. I cut up a zucchini that was kind of like burnt by the sun. They demolished half of it over there, and now they're working on the second one. They just love it, love it, love it. You see, they coming to see me. <gasps> Look, UPS. Look at me. I'm a mess. <laughs> well, I don't have my little my little knife thing, and uh, I'm just sitting out here with the chickens, so I don't feel like going inside and getting the um, tripod. So I'm just gonna try and open this up with my fingers and see what it is. Actually, this came via UPS, so this is not, I'm, I'm struggling. This is probably hard to watch. Oh my goodness. Look it. Hold on, hold on. I had this on my wish list. It is the Mandolin Slicer glass set. Can you see that? It's kind of like not in focus. Okay, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take it out of the box because I want to show you all the cool parts in it. Oh, I've needed this so bad. I need to make like a zucchini bread or something for Mrs. Lucas. Uh, although my zucchinis are, they're not in good shape. I don't think I'm going to make her a zucchini bread out of the zucchinis that I have because they're yucky. They taste funny. So maybe I'll make her something with apples. Okay, so let me, let me turn this around. Let me see if I can find a note and see who it's from. Here it is, guys. It came packed very well. It comes with a little lid, instructions, and of course the mandolin slicer, and it's got different attachments that you can put onto there. They just had that one on it, I guess, just to kind of show you where to put it. Ow, ow, sharp, sharp thing. It has one of these things that you do this with so you don't cut your fingers up. It has, oh my goodness, look at this. I didn't even know it had this. It has a glove that you wear to protect your hand so you don't slice yourself, which I've done many, many times using these in the past. So this is awesome. And then it has all these different attachments. Let's see if I can get this out. Hang on. Okay, I want you to check this out. It comes with a, a little box that you can store these in. Have you ever had like one of these and you've had a gazillion one of these and you just didn't know where to put them? So you end up putting them in some drawer and you reach in and you cut yourself with them? Well, I have. All right, let me show you. It's got a thicker slicer. It's got a very fine grater. It's got, I think this does julienne. Yep, probably, I, I think that's what they call it. And it has a crinkle cut slicer. It has one of these little sidey slicer graters. <laughs> and those all fit back into here. I'm going to quickly just come out. Ooh. 
they are sharp. Not only that, but it has a strainer. So you can put this down in here. Let me just let me just take this all apart. Hang on. This is so cool. So you cut your stuff up and remember how I wanted to strain those veggies after I had salted them so that they would wilt a little bit. I could put them right into here and let them drain. This also comes with a little mat that you can put underneath, well, underneath this as your grating things. And then this right here, you can bake a loaf in it. And I don't have a loaf pan. You, yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. I don't have it anymore because I made lasagna out of it and I ruined it. So I got rid of it. This one is going to last forever. I can, you can put it right in the oven and cook with it. You can bake with it. So this is great. I love the glass bakeware. And it just all kinds of kind of fits right back into here. I'm gonna put this down in here. I'm gonna put my little glove back in here. Oh my goodness, I need to see if there's a note. I think there's a note. Uh, this is not all gonna fit. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, 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 it'll fit. Oh, and then we got this. What did I do with the little, oh, there it is. Sorry, you guys. I know this is bad filming, but I was just feeling lazy. I didn't feel like going and getting a tripod. I'm sitting out here enjoying my chickens, watching them eat their zucchini. See that? And it's just all nice and compact. Let's see who it's from. Let me see if I can reach down this box. There's a note. Let's see who it's from. <laughs> Happy birthday, hon. Enjoy your gift from Cat, a.k.a. Harley Storm. Cat! Oh, my gosh! We've been chatting back and forth via Facebook Messenger and you didn't even tell me. You didn't even tell me. Aw, oh, thank you so much. This is perfect. I needed it. I needed it super duper bad. And it's got this glove so I'm not going to like cut my fingers all up and everything. And I'm going to be able to like cut all sorts of different shapes. I can do, oh my gosh, I'm going to be, and I'm almost out of sauerkraut. I need to start another batch. So I'm going to be able to get that done so much easier and the slices are going to be so much more uniform. And oh, this is great. Thank you so, so much, Cat, a.k.a. Harley Storm. I love it. I love it. What are the chickens doing? <laughs> Would you look at those zucchini? Oh my goodness. The other one is practically all gone. Now, I don't know which chicken this is. It might be Patsy. It's hard to tell them apart now, you guys, because they're all catching up in size to the bigger ones. And Patsy's backside is all better, so it's hard to tell her backside from the other one. So I don't know how I'm going to tell these chickens apart. I'll just call them the girls. But this one, she's still eating. The rest of them are, oh no, in the back somewhere taking a nap. But they sure do love them some zucchini. <sighs> I think I'm going to go take a shower, put on some nice, fresh, I don't know, something stretchy, you know, and just chill out on the porch, enjoy the view, and well, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.